Hi, this is Mr. Titanium, i.e. Richard Wagner. I'm your host, Richard Wagner. I am so happy to be here with you. Well, today, I was kind of thinking about the conundrum that our military finds itself in. Basically, they need rare earth uh, magnets in order to make their planes and all their other military devices. And it turns out that China, who manufactures these magnets, doesn't want to sell it to our military. So we find ourselves in quite a predicament. But it turns out that this isn't the first time that the United States has found themselves in such a situation. Back in the 1960s, we produced this awesome spy plane. It was called the SR-71 Blackbird. This plane flew at 85,000 feet in the air at speeds of over Mach 3. The Soviet Union's uh, radar at the time wasn't even capable of detecting it. And we used this reconnaissance plane to do a lot of spying. It turns out, though, that because the plane went so quickly, it needed a special type of alloy to enable it to deal with the heat. And that alloy turned out to be titanium. Only one small problem. The United States did not manufacture or mine for titanium. The only place you could get titanium was the former Soviet Union. And it's not like you could walk up to them and say, hey, give me God knows how many metric tons of titanium for my brand new spy plane. <laughs> so instead, what the United States did was set up a whole bunch of shell corporations. Or, and these shell corporations got the material from third parties, namely from organizations in Japan and in Switzerland and other neutral organizations. And they purchased small amounts over time, which enabled them to get enough of the titanium to build the SR-71 Blackbird. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that story. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.